It is the festive season, and that makes me think of two things, family and the flu. And the reason I link these two things together is because of this book, the Shang Han Lun, one of the most important texts in Chinese herbal medicine. Written around the year 200 AD by a man named Zhang Zi, or Zhang Zongjing, um, its formulas are incredibly powerful and still in basically daily use by most herbalists. Uh, the story of the book is, is quite sad. Um, I'll let you hear it in Dong Di's words in his foreword. My family was formerly large, once counting over 200 members, but from the beginning of this reign, in less than 10 years, two thirds have died, seven tenths of them from cold damage. Cold damage is Zhang Ji's word for epidemic or infectious um, febrile illnesses. Lamenting the fall of our glorious past and the untimely loss of so many lives that could not be saved, I have diligently sought the guidance of the ancients, widely collected the various remedies and consulted the ancient texts to create the Shang Han Lun. Although this book cannot completely cure all illnesses, it provides the means to understand the origin of illnesses encountered. If the reader follows the materials here and collected, he should be able to think out over half of all medical problems. So, Zhang Ji, a nicely humble dude, very motivated. Zhang Ji is one of these um, the scholar physicians. So Chinese medicine historically has had this um, kind of pull between traditional folk aspects of the medicine things like the barefoot doctors and the people Zhang Ji is referring to here would be like um, doctors who come from a family line that learn from their father and their father and their father and treat based on experience and scholar physicians who study the ancient texts and have a more analytical approach and maybe a more philosophical approach. Um, both of these things are, are, are kind of active in the history of Chinese medicine and important, but in this he's, he's critiquing those people that, that, that treat just based on experience and based on narrow thinking and don't analyze the fullness of the illness. Um, so right now it's, it's, it's flu season everywhere and I'm actually prescribing a lot of Zhang Ji's formulas, even still. Um, they're incredibly effective. And this is 1,800 years later, and obviously we're probably not treating the same illnesses that Zhang Ji was treating back then, but the formulas still work. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but one thing I want to talk about is, is where the name of the book comes from, because it, it, it demonstrates a little bit about how Chinese medicine thinks about what we might call the immune system. We don't have a concept of an immune system in Chinese medicine. We do have the concept of defensiveness, defensive qi, but it's very different from an immune system. So, Shang Han Lun, the treatise on cold damage. Zhang Di differentiates between two types of invasion by an external pathogen. So, if you encounter an external pathogen, or what we might call a, a virus or a, you know, a bacterial infection or something, if you encounter this external pathogen, you can either experience what he calls wind strike or cold damage. Wind strike means that there is an attack that is repelled. The pathogen comes, our defenses repel it, and you know, we're, we, we carry on. If you think of the body like a, a walled city, the invading army comes, the soldiers come to the walls, they repel the invaders with, with no casualties. That is wind strike, and that is obviously what you want. But most of the time, that's not what happens. What happens is cold damage. And like the name says, with cold damage, there is damage. Um, our body is, you know, harassed by this invading pathogen. Its resources are, are depleted. It might be damaged by the pathogen itself, whether it's heat or cold or, or you know, issues with the blood. I mean, we, we saw recently that, you know, a lot of viruses can affect uh, blood flow and things like this. So um, the formulas in this book are not antibacterial or antiviral. They're not just concerned with the external pathogen. They're concerned with the pathogen, the defensive aspects of the body, and the nutritive aspects of the body that feed the defensive aspects. 
So these very beautifully small and simple formulas have an efficacy that's far beyond what you would think given the, the nature of the ingredients. You know, they're not using the strongest herbs in the world, or not always, but they're incredibly effective. And I think it's because they, they have this broad range of application where they're not just looking at an illness and they're not just looking at the state of the body. They're actually looking at the dynamic equilibrium because that's the thing, we're always exposed to pathogens, but sometimes they develop into an illness and sometimes they don't. And um, the Shang Han Lun, I think, does a really good job of guiding us um, in the direction where we can, where we can maintain that balance a bit more, more, uh, how would you say, consistently. The other nice thing about the, the Shang Han Lun is that it's an eminently clinical text. There is almost no theory in it. <laughs> which is quite funny. Zhang Zi is just like, if you see this, you do this and you'll be grand. And he just, he doesn't tell you why. By analyzing the formula, you can draw a lot of conclusions and people have literally been writing about this for almost two millennia now. Um, but to this day, they're some of the most uh, powerful formulas we have. So, uh, this festive season, Merry Christmas from me and Zhang Zi. And um, hope everyone is saying, staying safe and happy and uh yeah see you soon